Hello, good evening, folks. Um, today, we'll be going through how to create a Google form. So how to create a Google form. So if you can look at your URL, already I have, I have typed www.google.com. So if you are not there, you go with me, you type, w, you, don't, you type google.com and you click enter. We advise that before you be able to enter into your Google Forms, you should have, have signed up to Google email. And if you can see here, my email is already logged in. So you see my email address uh, here. As you can see, this is my email address. I have two email, Google email address. This is my email address. So I've signed in already. Without that, uh, when you go through the Google browser, it will still insist that you log into your mail first before you use this feature. So just remember, you would have to log into your Google email account. When that is done, then you type your Google dot com uh, in your your address your url address okay so we come to this box the search box and type forms forms then we click okay now it takes us to google forms free online survey for personal use Google Forms free online survey for personal use. Then we click on it. It launches and takes us to the screen. And this is the Google Forms um, screen where you have the Google Forms and then other Google Docs, Google Sheets, Lights. And so we use this portion, which is the personal, and then we click on go to personal forms now today what we'll be doing is to create google forms from scratch so we have various forms of uh, uh, templates here contact information rsvp party invite and all that what i have done with google forms is this i have created uh, a piece for students here you can just see how it looks like so that's what I've done. And there are a number of things that you can use Google Forms also to do. So this is an example of a quiz that I've, I've created for students. And uh, you can see how you type your email address and you, you answer questions. And whilst you answer and you are done, Google will collate your scores for you and I mean gives you your gives you your uh, will give you your scores instantly. So let's go back to what we're doing. So we're going to create a form from the scratch. So we go to blank, start blank form. Sorry, let's go back. So this is the, a, a blank form. So we click on it. And it takes us to this page. So let's look at the features of the form. First of all, this is the title of the form. So for instance, if we're doing something on customer satisfaction, we can say a survey, we can say satisfaction survey. And this is the title and this is the description. So this will give you a brief description of the, the survey. If it's a survey, you're doing a satisfaction survey. Maybe I can type here, that please take a few minutes of your time to complete this survey. 
it. And then here you have the untitled form, but watch this. Because I have this title, when I click here, it picks the name automatically and saves it. So here you have the form, the header here, and you have the question section. When you click here, you have these features here. First of all, let's go through this section where you have options here for you. The default one is multiple choice, where it means you can, can answer one question at a time. We have a paragraph, and that's how it looks like, where you can give short question and short answer. So you can use that for your full name or description, some sort of short, I mean, sentences that you want to type, a brief description and all that. We also have a paragraph really mean that you want to type a full paragraph, okay? Uh, uh, the shorts, I think the shorts answer gives you up to 255 characters. Uh, and then there's the, the paragraph goes beyond that. Then we have the checkbox. That gives you the option to uh, check more than one options. The multiple choice gives you one option, but the checkbox gives you two or more what option. And then we have the drop down that gives you an opportunity to, um, so let, let's demonstrate this. So if I'm to use, for instance, the multiple choice, then for instance, if I have to ask a question, yes or no, and I preview this, then I have the option to answer yes or no. Maybe let's go back so that I ask a question um, just to make it more. So um, are you a Christian? Okay. Then when we view it here, you can say either yes or what, no. And more specifically, because it's a question, let me put it in a question form. Are you a Christian? I put a question and then you can answer yes or no. When you click, you cannot choose uh, two options at a time. But when we go to the option box and I ask a question, what are your... Um, what are your features or your traits? Then you can say, um, I'm high tempered, high tempered. I tempered, um, what other human trait we have? Um, okay, might not be the night, a good example, nice. And then um, high tempered could be quick tempered instead. Quick tempered, nice. And then uh, gentle. So we are asking questions that if these uh, these options fit you, and probably one is approved. So when I preview this, for instance, it means I can even check all, or check some few, maybe two or three. So that, that's the essence of uh, using this option. Then we also have a short answer where we can ask a full name, for instance. And then when you come here, you can just type your name as David and voice. Or if that portion is for brief description, they could ask that, for instance, uh, describe yourself. And they will say, this is brief. Brief. 
All right. So when we preview, that's just about it. Then you can type who you are, and David, and voice in. Emma and all that. Okay, <clears throat> so that's just about that. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, I'll bring the next section, a continuation of this, in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Boyson's Reality Check, and then do subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that it can send you videos as well.